vaccine rollout is underway, starting with care home residents and their carers, frontline NHS staff, those heroes, and people over the age of 80. And it was a jab day over at Ashworth Grange Care Home in Dewsbury yesterday, where residents and staff received their first dose of the Pfizer BioNTech jab. Let's find out how it all went. Well, Paul Rawson is the manager at Ashworth Grange, and he joins us now. Paul, welcome to the programme. Hi, you all right? I'm, I'm all right. Much more importantly, how are you today? Yeah, we're doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Right. You've got to tell us about this um, this day yesterday. So we were talking with our own Paul Rowley, who is Rowley, sorry, he is our political correspondent. And he was describing where we're at as a battle between the two V's, the battle between the vaccine and the virus. And you're there at the front line yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, the, the vaccine was given to our residents and staff. Uh, which everyone's like really, really pleased about. It was a really good day. Tell me about getting the vaccine itself. Does it, it, it does it hurt? Is it were people worried? Like, what was the atmosphere? Yeah, so there was definitely some apprehension um, due to it sort of being an injection. Um, but the day went really, really well. The residents were all really well supported by the staff team, and the staff team were there to support each other. And yeah, it was really, really positive. Everyone felt really good at the end of the day. So how did it work? Was it your was it your staff administering the jab, or was it um, a specialist team that came in? How did it all work? Yeah, so we had a specialist COVID team come in, um, along with our, our GP um, and the district nurses. So there was five of them in total, and then the the staff received uh, the vaccines alongside the residents. Um, so the staff team was supporting the residents at the same time, so everyone was there for each other, um, and that seemed to work really, really well. I know you've got a resident who's been there for two years, William Atkinson, he's 92, and uh, he was saying that he wanted to, to kind of be alongside the, the people that work as carers because you're all in it together there. Absolutely, yeah, that, that was a key thing that, um, as well as the residents um, having the vaccine, um, the staff wanted to be there to support the, the residents, um, and I think it was really good for the residents as well to sort of see the staff getting it at the same time, so everyone felt that it was really moving forward. And today, like I say, it's such, it feels like such a significant thing to be talking about the fact that a whole care home received the vaccine. It just It feels really important that that, that has happened. Today, how, how is everyone feeling? And, and is, there, is there a sense that, I don't know, that maybe you, you've done something that's going to help us all get over this and get back to normal? Absolutely, yeah. Everyone's feeling really, really positive now. There's real um, positive buzz around the care home. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. Um, everyone feels that we've really sort of moved forward now the vaccine's been administered to us all. Um, a real step in the right direction. And how's it going to work? Because um, you've had the Pfizer one, so not the Oxford vaccine. So does this mean you need to get like a top up in a few weeks? How's it all going to work? Yeah, so um, when we had the vaccine done, we was given the date when the top up will be done. Um, so all staff and residents are aware. So uh, um, I think it's in eight, nine weeks where we'll get the second um, dose. Um, so everyone's sort of really looking forward to that. Um, I'm sure there won't be as much apprehension as there was um, because everyone's sort of been through it now. So um, everyone's feeling really positive about that. So no ill effects or anything like that? Everyone everyone seems to be in good spirits and all fine? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, There's been no, no, no side effects at all. Everyone's really good. Now, I, I heard on, uh, I think it was on Five Live yesterday morning, there was uh, a doctor who... Um, has some issues with the vaccine. Were there any people, uh, either amongst the staff or amongst residents, who were who were nervous about the very idea of a vaccine? Clearly, there. You know, I don't. I want to be careful how I put this, but there are some people who have some concerns about any kind of vaccinations. Was that was that ever a worry? But amongst anyone uh, there at uh, Ashworth Grange. No, I won't say it was a worry because um, I think, sort of, as you say, with other vaccines, such as the flu vaccine. Um, if people sort of don't like needles or anything like that or injections in general, um, there's always going to be a bit of apprehension. But I think because the staff team were so positive about it being done and really supportive toward, towards each other, um, that worked really, really well. I've got to say, it's an exciting moment to be able to be speaking about va a vaccine. It feels like this is ever since we went into lockdown last March we've been this is kind of the day we've been waiting for to be able to talk about it I'm really fortunate I think I'm I'm probably due to get a vaccine kind of early as, as soon as I, I possibly can I can't I'll be I'll be out there I'll be queuing outside the doctor's uh, surgery waiting to get it done for, for you you must you must just feel incredibly positive this morning 
It is, absolutely. Uh, everyone's feeling really positive. It's, as I say, it's such a good step forward and something that we've been sort of waiting for. So um, to be one of the first care homes within Kirklees to get it done, that's been really, really um, a positive step and uplifting for the staff and residents as well. Well, listen, thanks for being at the Vanguard and uh, we'll check back in, I'm sure, in a couple of weeks' time. But for now, Paul, take care of yourselves and your staff and the wonderful people there at the Gear Grange Care Home.